What does anti mean? I'm on the boot. But it get loose, it's nasty. Okay? I'm like, why, why, why are you asking me this? Period. What's up, world? It's your girl, Nita B, aka Young Show. Welcome to the channel. If it's y'all first time coming across this, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, like this video, and leave some comments down below because I like to interact if y'all interact. And you know, even though I'm just starting off, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get this thing going. We're going to get on the road. So, today's video is a Q&A. I go on my Instagram and I ask a couple of my followers, even a couple of subscribers who didn't hit the subscribe button on their Instagram. Go on here and join the Instagram. If y'all ain't on the Instagram, it's anti needle B. Just like my YouTube. So, go on here and hit that uh, follow button over there if you haven't yet. And if you ain't hit the subscribe button over here, what you doing, man? Don't just be watching. You know, it don't cost nothing to hit the subscribe button. So, go on here and run up the subscribe button. Share, like it, comment, do all that good stuff. So, now that we got that out the way, if y'all ain't seen my first video, go watch that. And I pretty much asked y'all to ask me some questions y'all want to know. So, you know, y'all getting to know me. I'm getting to know y'all. What it do? So, let's get into these questions. So, I went to my Instagram, got a couple questions off of there. Some of y'all been <laughs> asking me some crazy questions, like, but I like that. I like to get spicy and I like, you know, some stuff. But this is really like to get to know me type of QA. Since this is only my second video. So we're gonna go with the get to know me type of stuff first. Like we ain't gonna get too spicy just yet. Y'all just met me. Cool. We gonna get to know each other. Ain't no need to rest this relationship, you know what I'm saying? Let's ease into it. Let's take it slow, you know what I'm saying? We, don't, we ain't fast up here. My mama taught me better than that. I ain't fast. Let's go slow. Get to know me first, okay? Before you get all this, all the goodness. Get to know me, okay? Okay. Okay. So, the first question was, what does anti mean? Now, for a couple of y'all, couple people really think anti me, anti-social. And even though I am a little anti-social, I'm not all the way extrovert and I ain't all the way introvert. I'm like in between the thing, you know what I'm saying? When I feel like talking, I talk. And when, you know, I like to be by myself a lot too. Because, you know, you really get to, you know, unwind. And some of my best ideas come out when I'm by myself. But to answer y'all question... Anti is an acronym. It's an acronym that I came up with because, like I said in my first video, I was a little shy. I'm coming out my shell, and I'm really trying to get to the point where I'm letting nothing intimidate me or stop me from what I want to do with my life and what I want to do with who I date and being myself and wearing the clothes I want to wear and just being me. And I'm not letting nobody intimidate me out my comfort zone or what I want to do with myself. If I want to do you to or if I want to quit my job or anything I want to do I'm gonna do it because I want to do it so the anti means allowing nothing to intimidate me allowing nothing to intimidate me if you team anti go ahead and comment down below like this video all of this stuff team anti over here you feel me we ain't allowing nothing nothing not a Nathaniel to stop us over here. Nothing to intimidate us. For real. Straight up. Period. Last question. How old are you? I'm older than I was yesterday. No. <laughs> that was real. I'm really not young and I ain't old. See, I'm going to make this a trivia. Since y'all asking me how old I am, I'm going to ask y'all, how old do I look? Let me know. How old do I look? If y'all get the answer right, if y'all can just guess on how old I am. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm not a teenager. <laughs> and I'm well into my 20s. Over that. I'm well over the 20s. Well over in that. So, if y'all can guess how old I am, man, I will cash up y'all. Just Y'all comment down below. Put an egg in your cash up. And if anybody get it right, I'm going to let y'all know. Because I'm going to shout it out in the next video. And 
I'm gonna let y'all know how old I am too. Just to let y'all know. So I ain't even feel this will be a bit trivial for all my new people. Anybody that's trying to get to know me, just tell me what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? How old do I look? Boy, if you don't get Yeah, boom, cool. <laughs> so that's a cliffhanger to be continued type question. So next next question is hmm, when's your birthday i mean i can tell you when my birthday is my birthday is december i'm a december baby i'm a sagittarius i was born december 4th sagittarius sad gang if y'all follow the sad gang go comment down below sad gang pound sad gang pound that thing you know what i'm saying that gang is dear to my heart. I really feel like we the best sign that is no cap. Who got something to say? Nobody. Well, I'm lying at Sad Sad has got a trait from every sign. The best trait from every sign. If you don't believe me, look it up. Sad Terrace is run the game. We can slick talking people too. So don't get bad because the sag and did you wrong. I hear y'all back there talking so about sags ain't no good. Don't say that because you got fooled by saying, you feel me? Get your game up. <laughs> Number three, though. Sagittarius, this one for me. Next question. All right, let me see. I ain't even doing these in order. Where are you from? I'm from the boot. It's get loose. I'm from the boot. Well, it get loose. I'm from the boot. Yeah, it get loose. Now I'm from the Jigger City, Jigger Town, Jigger State, all that. I'm from losing Alma straight down from the South. Country at its best, but everybody likes a little country, you know what I'm saying? I ain't city wise, you know. I ain't from Shreveport and I ain't from Louisiana because I know there be two cities everybody know from Louisiana. And everybody from Louisiana is not from that. I am from a small town. In between Shreveport and Monroe, called Gibson. I know ain't nobody ever heard of that, so I ain't even tripping. That's cool. But if you look it up, you'll see I got about 300 people down there. You know what I'm saying? I don't live there no more, but that's where I'm from. So, yeah. You ask me where I'm from, you ask me where I stay. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but I'm still in Louisiana, and GIB is where I'm from. All right, next question Are you single? Am I? Uh, I don't know. Do I have a friend? Am I dating? Am I married? Or who knows? Y'all gotta hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to the channel to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna put too much out there. You know, you can drink some stuff. You can put some stuff out there. You know, you don't know how it's gonna go. I'm just saying I'm free spirited. I'm a free spirit person. And I go with the flow on a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all don't know what that means, stay tuned. That's all I can say. Stay tuned to the to the game. You know what I'm saying? Anti. I ain't even letting nothing intimidate me. I don't even know what that means, but it, it, it sounds good. But anyway, <laughs> next question. All right. What's my favorite color? Do I have a favorite color? Yeah, I do. My <laughs> my favorite color is red. Now, red has been my favorite color since I was little. But since I'm getting older, uh. I'm moving toward of a more of a season type look. I'm kind of going with that burgundy, burnt orange type of deal. You know, you can tell by my hair, you know, it's kind of burgundy, got a little orange in it. So, yeah. Anybody ask me red, but I'm kind of veering off to like the burgundy, burnt orange type of deals. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like. Red, and you go on to the darker versions of that. Pretty much how they go. You know what I'm saying? What's y'all favorite color? What colors y'all like? Who like red like me? Or, you know, just want to be a little different. I like burnt orange or, you know, burgundy. It's all the same thing, you know. But I do I do rock light colors. You know, I like loud colors every now and then. But you ask me my favorite, and it's red. <laughs> I'm just going to keep babbling. Okay. First off, next question. What's your favorite season? <sighs> See, this is a like okay so i got two favorite seasons i like spring and i like fall i don't like the summer because it's too hot and i don't like the winter it's too cold i don't like being too hot and i don't like being too cold i like being in the middle you know what i'm saying Whew. 
I need to breathe. You bounce out. When it get hot, it get hot. You can't breathe. You need water. Sweat everywhere. It's like the air is dry. It's, it's like, it ain't dry. It's like a wet heat. And it's like, it's too much. And I can't do it. So I stay in the house. Anytime you see me outside in the summertime, I'm either going to work or you ain't going to see me. It's going to be at night or when the sun starts going down. And the mosquitoes down here is crazy. No, I cannot do summertime. In the wintertime, it's just too cold. Like, why do I got on three jackets to be outside of my teeth still shining? Like, no. So, yeah, if I had to pick between spring and fall, it's fall. Because, you know, there's some football season going on, homecoming, all this stuff right there while we get to this. That is the best time to be outside. Period. Fall. All right. So now, now these are these are a little more spicier questions. That y'all just nasty. Okay. Like why 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 are you asking me this? Like we just getting to know each other. But since I'm open, and since I ain't got nothing to hide, I'ma ask these questions. So let's ride into these questions. You know what I'm saying? First question is, is <laughs> somebody asked me. And I didn't write the names down. Why well, I didn't write the names down? Well, whoever you are, you ask me these questions, answer these questions. Let me know. Since you want to know me so well, let me know you too. <laughs> Do you have any fetishes? What? <laughs> fetishes? Nah. Nah. I don't, I don't have no fetishes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, you know, people who like feet or, you know, want to look at a certain picture or like certain videos or something like that like that's what a fetish is but i don't have any you know what I'm saying? ain't nothing wrong with a little feet a little booty a little whatever you like to do <laughs> bro what are you talking about man but that ain't me i i'm just an all real rounded type person i ain't got no favorites i ain't got no fetishes. <laughs> i mean i don't know what you want me to say like but if that's what i mean whoever do that's you do you boo ain't no judgment over here I'm just saying, I don't have no fetishes. Next question. What's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Wow. Wow. Should I tell y'all? Should I tell y'all? Man, you know what? I don't even care. The most embarrassing thing I've ever done. The most, <laughs> the most embarrassing thing I've ever done was, okay, I was younger. Now, don't get it twisted. I was younger. I used the bathroom on myself in front of the people that I like. You know what I'm saying? We was outside. You know what I'm saying? It was no bathrooms. So what I was going to do, you know how you, you know, you, you think you got a little pool in you. You know, you got to pass a little gas. But passing the gas when the gas, you know what I'm saying? It was something different. Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. <laughs> man, when there's something different hit, man, I had to go on and hit the scene. Like, I had to go. I had to go. You can't let your crush see you in a predicament like that. Like, I'd rather you feel like I just dipped out on you because I can apologize for that. But if somebody find out you, you know, a poop on a poop and you, you had to shoot. Man, you got to get up out of there. You cannot come back from that. And <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what it is, what she is, what that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no need to talk about all that. But just know that was embarrassing because of me. Didn't nobody see it. It was embarrassing for me because I could have lost my whole, my whole life could have been ruined on that one incident. My whole thing could have been over with. I wouldn't have had no friends, no nothing forever. Man, it was bad. But like a true player, like a true Sagittarius, I got it good. My back clicked it. I had to make the player move or slide up out of there, holler at you, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, <laughs> next question. Alright, so it says, if you could go any location in the world, where would it be? Man, that's a good question because 
I know a lot of people can relate. I don't know who, but I ain't never been on a plane before. I never went anywhere where I can drive. So it's a lot of places I want to go when I, you know, get established and I get accomplished and get some little money in my pocket. It's a lot of places I want to travel to, like Africa, Japan, uh, you know, Caribbeans, like maybe even like uh, St. Thomas, even though that's like considered United States land. You know what I'm saying? I want to go over to Belize, Turk, Caicos, something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. I like that. And, you know, I'm speaking into existence. One day, I'm going to get up on that plane and I'm going to go travel. I'm going to travel around this world one way or another. If God say the same, I'm going to get on the plane. All right, y'all. So, one more question. One more question. Hmm. Let me see. Have you ever had a one night stand? Yes and no. I'm gonna say yes and no because I've met somebody and dealt with them the same day, but I'm gonna say no because it turned into a relationship. Like, so it's kind of a one night stand, but it ain't because you can't have a one night stand and start talking to them down the line. It really don't work like that. At least to me. I don't know. Y'all let me know. The one night stand is still considered a one night stand if you hooked up and then later on down the line you got, you know, start kicking it or whatever. So, I don't know. But that's me. So, yeah, man. Those were the questions that y'all asked. Some of them, some of them were crazy. Some of them wasn't. But this is just the first video to come of a Q&A. You know, we just now getting to know each other. I just now, you know, I'm still opening up. I'm still coming out my shell. And it's going to be a wild, wild ride. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. You don't want to miss nothing. So make sure that belt turned on to all, not just personalized. Because personalized, you don't, it ain't personal. Because it, it don't even show y'all the videos. I know. Because I watch YouTube. And it don't give me all the videos. But anyway, go ahead and hit that like button. Join the anti-team, you know what I'm saying? And always remember, allow nothing to intimidate you. And until next time, need to be out.